congratulations to Providence on a great season. Uh, we're going to hear from Nate and from Nick. First from Nate, an opening statement. Then we'll ask some questions of Nick and let Nick get back to the locker room to be with his teammates. If you could both please speak into the microphone, we'd appreciate it. And if the media, if you guys would please identify yourself as always and let us know who you're working with. Coach Lehman. Well, it was a good game tonight. I mean, I thought it was uh, it was a fast game. It was a back and forth game. Um, I thought we got better as the game went on. I was really happy with the, that we got better as the game went on. Um, coming off the short rest, I thought we struggled to get our legs a little bit, and they really had a lot of jump early in the game. Um, and, you know, I thought it's uh, the margin of error this, this time of year is really slim, and, you know, their pucks went in and ours didn't. I thought, uh, you know, them scoring the first goal, I thought that, that kind of helped them. And, um, you know, we had a... We had a couple really good chances early in the game, one on the goal line there, and, um, you know, we just kind of couldn't knock them in tonight. Questions for Nick? Go ahead, Pat. Patty Ruff from the Associated Press. I mean, can you just talk about that, that third period? I think you had as many shots in the third period as you had in the first two. And, um, just kind of impressed more uh, yeah, we just we knew we had to be desperate in the third. You know, it was our season was on the line, and we were just pushing the pace there in the third. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, Ken Shaw from Connecticut. Is that just uh, how damaging is it when you, uh, the other team scores so quickly? Uh, they, you know, did they did in the first and second periods? Uh, it's tough, you know, like, especially playing back to back. You know, the first period we we're going to try to find our legs, and uh, you know they got they got that early one, but we knew it wasn't over, and we were just trying to get our get our legs going and getting pucks deep and getting on the forecheck. Brian, Jeff Brian Sullivan, U.S. Call Shotgun Line. Um, kind of piggyback on Ken's question. Um, when they got the third goal right after you, we cut the lead to one. Um, was that especially deflating, or is it just the way it goes? You know, our season was on the line. You know, we just knew we had to keep going, and we can't get down on ourselves. It was a, it was a tough one to let up, but we knew we we weren't out of it until the buzzer was. Good. Uh, Adam Dagen from NBC 10 in Providence. Nick, I know. Obviously, this is you know deflating and disappointing, and, and, it, and it just happened. But it, can you appreciate what you guys accomplished this year and, and what you did for Providence hockey, which hasn't been done for a long time? Yeah, it was a good thing, but uh, you know we got here, but we were expecting to win, just like every team in the tournament. Uh, I don't know if you really could take this as a moral victory, but uh, it was good to get here, get some experience, and we want to be back next year. I'm proud of your team as a whole, how you performed throughout the season. Yeah, I'm extremely proud. You know, we had a lot of a lot of banged up guys playing through injuries, and uh, you know, good leadership. It is tough for the seniors for their last game, but a very good season. Any other questions for Nick? Go ahead. Let me just say one more thing. Um, you know, you have a young squad overall, though, that has to excite you kind of going into next year, though, no? Oh, yeah, it's really exciting. But, you know, we got to put in the work over the summer and get better and uh, come back with the same attitude as we started this season, expecting to be here. Thanks, Nick. Questions for Nate. Go ahead. Um, like I asked Nick, Coach, uh, I know it's so fresh, but can you appreciate what this team accomplished? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, um, it was, you know, I mean, I think we were playing our best hockey at the end of the year. You know, I was, I was really proud of the guys. Um, this is one of the toughest teams I've ever coached. You know, as far as uh, as far as toughness, I think we're still learning uh, the mental side of the game, but. Um, and we had three seniors, and uh, you, you get to these games at this time of year. The seniors are really important, um, you know, in, in in the big moments. And uh, you know, I I think uh, I think we're growing. Hey guys, there's some seats in here if you want to come sit down here. There's plenty of seating. Come on in around the back. Go ahead. Nate Anthony with the Boston Globe. Um, on that that attempt in the first period when uh, Gus Barron, you know, kept the puck out of the net. Were you able to get a good look at, you know, that and how frustrating was it to see that not go out? Well, I mean, there, it just seemed like there were, we, we had a lot of those tonight. Um, 
you know, with some pucks around their net. Uh, they did a good job. You got to give them credit. You know, I mean, it's they had two guys playing goalie there. You know, <laughs> so I mean, got this made a good save. I, I, you know, last night I said he's their best forward. Tonight he might be their best goalie. So, <laughs> um, you know, he's a big time player. You know, he's very deserving of being a, a Hobie Baker finalist. He's, um, you know, I think people are going to be talking about that kid for a long time. Um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, I, I think if we get that, I think it's it's one one. You know, we we have a we have a little more jump in us. Um, you know, we had the breakaway in the second period. We had the two on one in the second period. Uh, we had some good looks. You know, it just didn't go our way tonight. Um, and give credit to them. You know, give credit to Colin Stevens. He made some good saves. Brian, coach, can you uh, break down the shift following your goal that led to theirs? Well, I mean, you know, Ross was just, they, they were chipping a lot behind our D tonight using their speed, um, you know, and then they chipped it behind our D. Um, they, they, thanks. They chipped it behind our D. Ross was uh, filling in for our D there and, and uh, you know, and they just kind of, kind of outbattled us for that, for that puck there and uh, were able to get it on the net, you know. I think Ross thought he had a little bit more time than he did there. Um that an issue with him not being as familiar with playing defense? No, he wasn't playing D. He was filling in, you know, like it's a little bit different. Uh, our D was holding an area there, and, and uh, our Ford's responsible for holding that area behind him. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. Um, I think he just thought he had a little bit more time, you know. Mark, you're from the province, Coach, obviously, you, you know Rick Bennett well as a coach. Did they throw anything at you that you didn't expect? No, I mean they're you know they have great team speed, they have tremendous team speed you know and that's this is a team that can win the national championship. This is a very good hockey team. Um, um, you know I thought uh, the first half of the game we struggled in the neutral zone and we struggled uh, getting the puck out of our zone first touch. You know we were kind of turning some pucks over. We didn't have our legs and they had legs. They had great jump. Um, and, and they were on us, you know, um, with using their speed. I thought as the as we started to get through the neutral zone, we started to pick up more and more momentum in the game, more and more momentum in the game. And, uh, you know, and it was just just a little too late in the game. You know, it took us half the game really to, to get through and to get through clean. Go ahead. Uh, Josh Stephen Collins, uh, can you talk about Ross Barrett? Yeah, well, I think their whole decor as a whole. I mean, that's that's they they get to, so much team speed because um, the D can always get the the puck on their forward sticks. They have great mobility back there, and and I think the other thing that happened first couple shifts in the game, they really they threw a couple of our forwards off and put them on their heels. Um, but they're elite players, you know. Um, you know, I was impressed with with uh, 24 for them too. I think I don't want to mispronounce his name, but I was I was impressed with him uh, also tonight. And uh, yeah, those are two elite players. You know, Ken. Uh, Nate, uh, you talk about you know trying to hit your legs there in the first period. I mean, how deflating is it when you know, they score that quickly and, and, and they score quickly in the second period? That's part of the game. There's momentum swings in these games. You know, it, it, uh, it what it did, it made us work a little harder to get the momentum, but you know, the game. And I thought uh, towards the second half of that second period, we started to get the momentum of the game. Um, you know, and there was more life on our bench, and we started getting going. But being a young team, you know, I think that you know that that took us a little bit longer uh, to get the momentum of the game. And I thought the third period we had pretty good. You know, we had the momentum of the game, but. Made it made us you know took longer for us to get the momentum in the game there. Did any of the players say anything you have to work in handshake line? No. Go ahead. Only news check for a the second goal coach. Gillies looked like he had it. I'm not sure if he came loose and had to it out, but it seemed like he had it and just scored a new score. Yeah, some puck luck there. You know? Nate, uh, last night you guys were strong on the four checks tonight. It seemed like well, I think it's, it's more their D. You know, their D are pretty shifty, and, it, and if you go after them too hard, you, you know, like uh, you can really get exposed and then get odd man rushes up the ice. Um, you know, I thought our, our problem was getting speed away from the puck. You know, in the first period, we were we were turning some pucks over and we weren't getting speed away from the puck um, to get in. 
because if you can't get in on them hard, you know, you, you don't want to chase them. Um, so, you know, we needed to get better speed away from the puck. And towards the second half of that first or second period, we were, we were able to get in deeper. We were able to get better speed away from the puck. And then the third period, I thought we were getting real good speed away from the puck. So um, I think that was more, you know, it, it was it's a different game tonight. You know, last night, um, you know, there, there was there was a little bit different game plans going in tonight than last night, though. Go ahead. Um, well, I mean, I thought they won their net front. You know, I thought we we uh, uh, they do a good job in their own zone. Um, you know, I didn't see the final shot attempts, but it felt like we had quite a few that that were blocked. Um, but I mean, they did a good job around their net. Brian, can you comment on uh, on Gilly's play tonight compared to you know, what you've seen out of the form? I thought he played real well. I thought he played really well, especially early in the game. I mean, they were really, we were, you know, they were getting second and third opportunities in our zone. We were, we were struggling, um, you know, with, with executing out of our end. And part of it, you know, was, was uh, us. Part of it was them working so hard, you know. Um, I, thought, I thought he played terrific. I thought he came up with some big saves. He kept us in the game uh, early. And, uh, and then I thought Colin Stevens played well in the, you know, when he was tested a little bit there. Thought both goalies played well. Thought it was a good college hockey game, you know.